Hello everybody, my name is Tristan and today I'm going to be continuing my Tyler Tasmanian Tiger playthrough. As I said in the last episode, I'm going to be doing the second, actually the last third of Shipwrecks. And I'm going to be doing the boss. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't really want to start in this level, Welcome though. Anyway, that, that's not important. Um, fish, yeah, hopefully my mic places. problems don't continue. I know my mic isn't the best, you know how. but my recording thing keeps prioritizing my uh, computer mic over my headset mic, and it kind of is starting to become a little bit annoying. So, Ty... I am up for a race wreck. I'm. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to keep up. Go, 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 go. This race is, um. I don't know, this race is a bit. Hey, Ty! I don't know, this race is a bit. I love hitting him. It's like. Because you're faster than him on land, but he's faster than you in water, and so. It doesn't really even out because it's like the last half is on land. But it's cool to see him winning for the whole time. I've, I'm pretty sure when I first played this, I was like, Oh my god, he's beating me and I can't catch up. He's legitimately faster than me. And I was actually worried. And then, you know, I beat him because he sucks on land. Swim in. Swim, swim, swim. I think uh, they shouldn't... I shouldn't make all the opals and everything disappear during the race. Because I think it's a good way to quickly get through the level and kind of have a look around you. Well, like, not stop and smell the fucking roses, but... Just be able to see what's around. Maybe see a cog in the corner of the screen and go, Oh, there it is. But they take, cause they take everything away during the race. You can't do that. I don't, and I don't see why, like, what is the point? If you want to go off and r risk time for getting a cog or a thunder egg or a box or whatever, it, that's your problem. So I don't know why they took it away, but they did, and I think it was kind of silly of them. Thanks. Well, that's because I'm awesome. I, I guess. Ty is anyway. Love Ty. My, uh, coach gave this to me when I, I wonder what it'll be. Now I, want you to have it. I never saw that coming. Gee, oh my gosh. Thanks, did, it, did, uh, did anyone else see that coming? Because I definitely didn't. I did not think it was going to give me a Thunder Egg. That is amazing. I'm going to go over here and see if I can avoid him telling me how to swim. Good. Good. I didn't want to talk to him. So, all I have to do is kind of the back half. Because I already did half of the back half in the last episode quickly. I don't really have to do much of it. So this might end up being a slightly shorter episode. Where is it? There's a pond. Oh, like a hole in the ground somewhere around here with a cog in it. Here it is, I think it's this one. There it is. Ah, crap! My 3D perspective is terrible. One more cog, and I think I know where it is. Oh, if I get that wrong. Oh, shit! Oh god, what is happening? Okay, that was a weird little gulp that I hope doesn't ever happen ever again. Why am I killing these things? I don't need to kill these things. I can just go. There's nothing around here. It took me, like, five playthroughs to find this hole. It's so well blended into the background, because there's no none of the rock thingies. I just couldn't find it. And it really shouldn't me, because this is the only level I couldn't get 100% in back when I was young. 
because of that goddamn hole. And then I was playing it one day to get the button. And I was playing it one day and I kind of saw the, a, like a shadow of the corner. And I was like, what the hell is that? And then it turned out to be a goddamn tunnel. Ty, 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 buddy. There we go. There we go. Woo! That's the last cog. Alright, so this one is pretty much over. I think. Oh no. Holy crap. I do not have enough opals. I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're right. Okay, we're good. I forgot those boxes were there, but we're good now. We're good now, because I know where the rest are. Damn, I kind of wanted that to be a magnet. Alright. Let's go this way first. Yay. Convenient. Break the boss! Oh my gosh. Some Tasmanian tigers, right? Just don't want to do the ideal thing. Is my phone going off? No. No, it's not. Um, where is it? Down here. Woo! Three? What? Hold up. I'm missing a bilby. Like, legitimately missing a bilby. Oh my gosh. Uh, that was not planned. At all. Hmm. Alright, I gotta think this through. Grandma's just up here. I think I got dad. I just got mum. The boy was at the bay. I, I didn't get the boy. I missed the boy. I've got to go back to the boy. Okay, we're good. Jump. I guess. Yes. And the boy's on the way to the last Thunder Egg as well. So, we'll be good. We will be good. I have to think about that one. I, I was legitimately scary. I thought I would have missed the girl. The uh, little girl. But I didn't. It actually... For my memory, it's really helpful that there's five different types of bilbies. There's... So, like, there's the dad, the mum, the boy, the girl, and the grandma. Uh... And then they take that away in the rest of the game. Speak English, woman! Speak what is spoken to you. Um... Do I need to press the button again? God damn it. Uh, what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, right. They take away the different types of Bilbies in the second and third game, and they're just, like, generic Bilbies. And so I, it, so I can't remember where they all are in the second and third game. They're not, as, if not... Although, I do understand, because it's a little bit different, it's not like there's five Bilbies in every level, it's just, there might be, there might actually be no Bilbies in a level. But it's still good to kind of go, oh, that's right, there was three in this level, there was a dad, a mum, and a, and a grandma, so. Alright, so that's this level, finito. I think that's, how the eel, not the eel, the seahorse would say finished. I don't know. I have no idea what language that seahorse was speaking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit the level up here because I like going through the portal when everything is done. Yep. Okay. Good. The the graphics in this are actually really good. I I think I talked about that in an earlier episode. I might have. How I said, how I talked about my Xbox having 
terrible graphics in Tide Tasmanian Tiger for some reason. It took me until this year to figure out how to put it in widescreen, but that's not the point. The point is that it was just really... I don't know, it seems sharper. And not as... And thus, not as blurry. So, we're going to... I think it's called Bull's Pen. But we're not going there yet, because we have to go down and speak to our, our man, Julius. Julius the Koala. The Koala Bear. For another boomerang. Because we now have enough Golden Cogs for boomerang. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get that start this level so I could do part ship wrecks with it. Because, I don't know, it would have just been a bit cooler, I think. I, but I forgot to actually exit the level before I, um, exited the game. So it's saved in there. But, what can you do? In the Rang Machine? In the Rang Machine? I thought I was going to chuck in the creek over there. No, you created two boomerangs, actually. Although I guess that is technically multiple boomerangs. So, yeah. Beauty. I'm sorry, I just decided to talk over him because, you know, he annoys me. He talks more than the bird, and that's saying something. That is saying something big time. Because the bird talks a lot, so he hasn't talked to me in a long time, and I like that. The problem with the dialogue in this game is that there's too long of a break in between the words, Johnny, if you notice. You he stops for like a half a second in between pretty much each machine. word. And then Brothers. each sentence, he stops for like five Simply seconds. He's just like, stop. Stop talking. And, 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 yes, and, 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 give it to me. Oh, Gray and Harry. Random. Wallaby just jumps past. <gasps> I like how Ty doesn't have a front part of his mouth unless he opens it. But you can see, like, the backs of his teeth. I won't be surprised by dying this, by the way. At all. This is probably the one part of the game where I get easily hit. Because I don't know when to jump. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Come on. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, ball. It's probably one of the more boring... Actually, no, I take that back. This is definitely better than the second boss. This is much better than the second boss. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, see? see I told you I'd get hit. So I wouldn't be surprised. I did actually die in this one time. Recently, I mean. And it took me a lot, I think. It's not, I don't think it's very obvious that what, what you have to do. Um, okay. Forgot about them, but sure. Let's go with that. Okay. Cause my, yeah, my problem is that I either jump too soon or too late. And knowing that I might jump too soon, I leave it a little bit longer, and that's what causes me to jump a little bit too late. I'm gonna go over here first. Come on, buddy. Y y your attacks aren't going to hurt me. It's when you're charging at me, you may as well just keep charging at me. Oh, that's right. Wrong. And that's why I wanted to go stand over there in the first place. Um, ow. Yeah, that works, I guess. <laughs> How like weird bugs come flying off him. It's really a demonic cry. I wonder if they had got like a voice actor for it, or if they got like weird warthog noises. Talisman. It's a bit chipped and a bit fucked, but you know it'll work. <laughs> yeah, she'll do. <laughs> Puts her up to the sky. Yeah, I think it'll work. And now it's all good. What? When Whoa, this guy's tooth like flies back of his mouth. All in his power to stop you. Be careful, my friend. 
See? It's just like, it's just like a buck tooth, just like goes backwards and forwards. It's really weird. No. Well, that I did. What? You bet on the other guy? Do we even know who the... Oh, yeah, okay, we do know who the boss is. Like, the main antagonist. Rainbow Cliffs! Woo! Whoop whoop! It's my, it's my, uh... My place I live. <laughs> Do they actually live at Rainbow Cliff? Where's Pi's house? Does Pi have a house? I don't think he does. From the fire at all. Do By any of these... Oh, well, Julius has a house. We're in it right now. Maker, I can make we get it. You're smart. You Watch. give long names to Simply things. I present Smashing! You the Flamerang! Smashing. Yes, yes, this ring can start Come fires on. and melt ice. It even well, has that's a what more fire can do. Effect on some enemies. To because it, fire. Use the previous ring and I know how to select the ring. Come on, buddy. Your collection. It will aid you well in your quest. Now, well, I fucking hope so. Out. Alrighty. So that's that. Thank you everyone for watching my fourth episode of Tide Tasmanian Tiger. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will be doing a fifth episode soon, no, probably soon, where we will be going into the next world. I'm going to leave the cutscene for that. Um, I might end up doing two parts for most levels as well. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.